What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com and in today's video I'm going to take you through a full V taper back workout using only cables. Like I said, today's video, I'm going to take you through a full back workout focusing on getting that V taper. So when you're talking about that V taper, first off, got to know what you're talking about. But what you're talking about is that. I don't got that great of one. I haven't really been focusing on width of my lats as much as I have been with thickness, with deadlifts and stuff like that. But if you are looking to get wider lats so that you create that V with your back, this is going to be a great workout for it because how you hit that that V, how you create that V is going to be through pull down exercises rather than pull back exercises. So today's back workout will have one pull back work exercise in it just because you need to have a little bit of both in every back workout just to make sure that you're hitting all the muscles correct, properly enough. But this one's going to focus more on the pull down so that we can create that back width and get you that nice V taper. So first exercise that we're doing is a double cable lat pull down. So I actually have the cable right here. I have both handles up at the top. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab these and you want this to be above your head. You want this to be so that you are gonna be reaching up towards the cables basically because the emphasis here is to take your elbows and bring them in and squeeze them in towards your side. Because the whole point of doing a lat pull down, why I especially love this exercise, but the lat pull down, you're trying to focus on pulling that bar down and squeezing your elbows in. By having the cables out to the side of your body, you're immediately forcing yourself to bring your elbows in and squeeze them in. This is going to give your lats a extremely nice burn and it's going to help with better muscle contraction of your lat muscles. So squeezing them in, controlling them on the way back out. Squeezing them in, controlling them on the way back out. Also, you'll notice that my shoulders are rolled back. You don't want them forward like this. You're gonna be targeting too much of your biceps. Instead, roll those shoulders back, focus on driving down through your elbows and squeeze on that lat muscle. So you'll aim for uh, sets of 10 to 12 here. And we're gonna go with four sets, a minute rest in between each set. And we'll move on to exercise number two which is a lawn mower. So this is going to be the only pull back version that we have, but even with this lawn mower, it's going to be more at an upper angle because we are going to be almost getting ourselves level to the ground. We're gonna be down at an angle like this and we're gonna be acting like we are starting a lawn mower. So we're gonna grab this handle, it's gonna be down here at the bottom. And you can probably go pretty heavy with this because it is going to be an explosive movement. And so from here, you're gonna get into a nice strong position you're gonna take this and you're gonna take your elbow, you're going to drop it and you're going to drive it back. Drop it, drive it back. Notice I'm not taking my elbow and I'm not pulling it up here. I'm not doing that because we're trying to engage this lat muscle and up here, that lat muscle is not as engaged as if I take it down like that and really squeeze down on that lat muscle. So take your elbow, drive it down, squeeze. Drive it down, squeeze, control it on the way back. Just like that. So you'll do 10 reps to each side. You'll rest for a minute after and you'll repeat it for four sets. And then we'll move into exercise number three. Which is gonna be a straight bar lat push down. So you don't necessarily have to do this with a straight bar. You can do it with an easy bar. You can do it with a cable, I mean, uh, with a rope if you want. Um, what you just really wanna focus on is whatever is going to be able to be most comfortable on your palms and your wrist as you go through the motion of pushing this weight back. Personally, I just like straight bars because I can push as hard as I want and it's never going to, like with the rope, sometimes when you go too heavy, it bruises the backside here if you're not really squeezing down hard. So with the bar, you don't deal with that. So for these, what you're gonna do is the first thing, as you just noticed, is I stepped back away from it a little bit because you really wanna focus on getting a nice full stretch in your lats because we are working for that V taper. So you want to make sure that you're getting the full range of motion and that's going to start off with a solid stretch of the muscle down at the bottom here. You're going to really focus on trying to flare your lats out 
and then you're gonna take your elbows and focus on where they are going in relation to your body. So rather than just taking this weight and just kind of going with whatever, just like that, you want to focus on your elbows coming down and back because that down and back motion is what's going to work that lat. So taking this, getting nice flare and nice stretch on my lats, and then I'm gonna go from there and I'm going to drive my elbows down and drive my elbows back and squeeze down on my back muscles and return back to starting position. Get that stretch and squeeze back. Turn, stretch, squeeze back. Make sure your chest is popped out the whole time. Keep that chest out, squeeze that back. What you don't wanna do is go too heavy and get to a point where you're kinda of going like this and you're rounding your shoulders over and you're just really struggling to get this weight. I'm gonna get that chest out, flare those lats, chest out, drive those elbows back, really focus on engaging that lat muscle, those lat muscles. So that'll be exercise number three. Again, you're gonna aim for 10 to 12 reps here. Really focus on form, really focus on tension on the muscle. Um, after you get those reps, you're gonna go with a one minute rest and repeat for four total sets and move on to the last exercise, which is going to be a single arm lat pull down with an underhand grip. So what we're going to do is we're gonna have a cable at the top and we're just gonna have a single handle on it. So from here, what we're gonna do is take this and we're going to kneel down. So I'm just gonna go with one knee down just cause this is gonna be the most comfortable and it's going to allow for a nice stretch in that lat there. So I'm going to allow my lat to flare out. I'm going to keep my palm facing up. So I'm supinating my wrist. I'm turning them in towards me. And then from there, I'm gonna take my elbow and I'm going to drive my elbow down, squeezing as much as I can on that lat. So one thing that can, you can really do on accident here is engage too much of your bicep. So instead of engaging a bunch of your bicep and just kind of doing like a little bit of a upside down drag curl, what you wanna do is focus on taking this elbow and driving it down. So you can see my bicep isn't even flexed there. Versus if I'm curling with my bicep and I'm doing it with all bicep there, it's hard now. Versus taking my elbow and driving down with my elbow and now it's soft. So don't use your bicep here, or use your bicep as minimal as possible. You can't ever get rid of your bicep in this motion. But taking that elbow, driving that elbow down and really squeezing down on that lat and focusing on where your elbow is in comparison to your body like we've been doing this whole time. Because the whole way to work your lat on this exercise is just like if you're doing a chin up. If you're doing a chin up, your elbows are coming from here and they're coming down in front of your body and it's squeezing down on your lat just like that. Same thing with the single handle. We're gonna go from there and we're going to drive that elbow down, keeping it in front of our body and squeeze on our lat, just like so. So you're gonna go 10 to 12 reps each arm, rest for a minute, repeat for four sets, and you are going to be done with the entire workout. Again, this is gonna be great if you're trying to get that V taper appearance, trying to get those nice wide lats. This is gonna help with that because it's three exercises that focus on width versus thickness of your back. So try that out, let me know what you think. Also, if you're looking to build muscle, if you're looking to or if you're trying to burn fat, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to bulk up, whatever your goals are, you have to be following a plan for your body type. Your body type may not be the same as mine. My body type may not be the same as the next guy's, but as long as you're following a plan for your specific body type, everybody can get in shape fast. And if you're not getting in shape fast, it's probably because you're not following a plan for your body type. So if you wanna take my free body type quiz, you can click the link in the description below this video. It'll tell you exactly what to do to get in shape fast. So check that out. Also, if you guys like this video, like this workout, make sure you're clicking the thumbs up button below. Leave in any comments, questions, concerns, or video topic recommendations, things you want to learn about down in the comment section. And last but not least, make sure you are smashing that subscribe button because I am breaking a sweat right now for you guys and dinging that little bell next to that subscribe button. That way you get notified when I post new video for you. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.